We're here today at Infinite Kasama, which is an event um, inspired by the work of Yeyo Kasama, specifically for young people. It's also a partnership with uh, Tate Media, Tate Learning, and the Recreative website. Recreative is an online community and resource created through the Louis Vuitton Young Arts Project and led by the South London Gallery. Our goal with the site is to create a network for young people interested in contemporary art. So the Hello Cube was born of a desire for the site Take Collectives and Recreative UK's growing online community. And we wanted to have a way that people could respond to something digitally in a space, but also online. Our goal with the site is to create a network for young people interested in contemporary art. The Hello Cube is a, um, a piece of work that Joel and I built in response to Yeo Kasama's work. The object itself is a Twitterable object and by that I mean that you can use Twitter to send commands to the object to create images within the piece itself. Some of the response has been stuff that we haven't expected which is things like people looking at the, the large projection on the wall and seeing their own hands in the box. So there's nice things like that have been happening. Take Collective are um, a young people's advisory group who work at Tate Britain and Tate Modern. Um, and the idea is that they create, participate and contribute to the cultural productions, if you want, of Tate. Um, and specifically on this event, they've worked with uh, curator Sean Curtis to develop um, this day of activities which are sort of interdisciplinary, cross-disciplinary, utilising music, um, visual arts, visual culture, um, fashion, design, etc. to kind of explore the narratives, I suppose, within um, Yeyo Kasama's work. Our involvement with Infinite Kasama as Tate Collective was before the exhibition began. We all gathered as a group and met with the curator of the exhibition. So she spoke us through the exhibition, what pieces were going to be involved, the paintings installation about Yoyo Kasama herself, her life work. And we were inspired by this. So we tried to come up with a collection of artists and musicians who would truly be able to reflect and be inspired by her work. The challenge that I set for myself was to directly replicate um, the polka dot um, forms, but also uh, the infinity nets. But also trying to get, um, in terms of like the movements, trying to get the sort of organism aspects um, of her work, the kind of accumulation, the bubbling. It's an actual sound art piece that I've created, and it's going to be something which has no beginning, middle, or end, which is something that she introduces into her work a lot. It's the infinity of the work as well. 